moving, organizing, or downsizing, you're bound to have a pile of things that you simply don't want anymore. And it can be confusing to decide what items are worth selling and which items should simply be donated. My name is Shay. I'm a certified professional organizer and the co-founder of Mission to Organize. When we're working with our clients, part of our job is to help them declutter in a way that's best for them, the environment, and the community. So in this video, we're going to give you our best advice on how to decide which items you should sell and which items you should donate. So stick with us. 90% of the closets that we work in, we find items that still have the tags on or they're items that simply don't fit anymore. When it comes to selling clothing, you're really only going to want to sell the things that are high-end designer pieces. That's worth it. However, the time and the energy that you're going to spend on selling a $10 shirt simply isn't worth it. Be really selective when you're deciding what to sell. Once you've gotten it all together, you can sell it either online or take it to a consignment shop. The same rules apply for all of your fashion accessories, including belts, shoes, and purses. Furniture that's not antique, brand name, or in really good condition is not really that easy to sell. Furniture pieces like couches, beds, bikes, and baby strollers are really heavy and therefore super expensive to ship. First, start by asking your friends and family and using your social network. Maybe one of them wants to buy it from you. Your next step is to contact an antique dealer. Most of the time, you can take a picture of the piece and they can tell you whether it's worth selling or if it might be something that they would be interested in. The next step is to take it to a thrift store or to sell it online, but make sure that you give yourself a deadline. After that deadline, you'll want to consider donating it to someone in need or going ahead and giving it away for free. At least it will be out of your space. In most homes, we find a graveyard of electronics. Sometimes they're piled in one place and other times they're scattered throughout the house. But if you have old electronics that are still current and functional, you can sell them online. There are many websites out there that will help you do this. If you have items that are working but you don't want to sell it, you can donate them to schools and charities. Computers and old cell phones are perfect for this. Your next option is to recycle, but make sure you do it safely. The sooner you let go, the sooner you can move on to your new journey in life. And remember, when you donate to the right charity, it goes to good use for people who really need it. And we always promote recycling, so make sure that you take advantage of that option as well. Stay tuned to our website, blog, and our social media for lots more tips on this and more things organizing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we look forward to seeing you again for more organizing trends and tips from Mission to Organize. Bye! Oh.